Hi guys, Tin Man here again. Um, just for those who are looking into building a pulse motor or any other electronic circuit, um, today's video is about scabbing parts. Now, I've spent or oh, probably last hour pulling bits and pieces out of a old computer monitor. Um, very handy, a couple actually. So out of these we can get um, heaps of different coloured wires for your system um, so you don't get mixed up and put one wire where it shouldn't be. Have all the same colour gets a bit confusing. This has got nearly every colour available to man. Uh, we get a heap of, uh, I call them pillow capacitors, I don't know what they're called. Funny looking brown things anyway. Um, a heap of low voltage ones there, 25 volts plus, and there's over 15,000 microfarads of capacitance just in that little bunch there. Uh, of course, your high voltage ones, um, what this one here, a big one, is one's 470 microfarads, 450 volts. 220 microfarads, 400 volts, a uh, heap of little ones of various sizes. Um, got a heap of different size chokes if you need them. Um, this thing here, I don't know what that is, but um, whatever it is, it's got a magnet in it. So, that uh, jump on the internet and might be some sort of. Um, Snuff a choke or something like that, I don't know. I'll have to have a look on that one. Um, heaps of these little ferrite rings, great for dual fees. Uh, resistors, all different shapes, sizes, values, right up to the uh, one waters. Got a five water there, even got a six water. Um, 306 watt. 3R9J. I'll have to look at the value on that one. Um, heat sinks, various sizes for transistors. Um, now these uh, 12 volt relays have a normally open and a normally closed on them. So that coupled with our uh, big high voltage capacitor for a capacitor battery dump system. If you want to go that way. Heap of MOSFETs. MOSFETs are really handy for speed controllers and that sort of thing. Um, diodes, all different sizes, shapes, values. Now if you're really lucky you'll get one of these. Which is a, um, it's got a red writing and a red ring around it. They're what's called an ultra fast diode. Um, 10 nanosecond switching time. Very quick. Now the best thing, look at all these transistors, just out of two um, old computer monitors. Little tiny ones, right down the little tiny ones, good for the um, little, uh, like the dual ringer circuit. Um, slightly bigger ones, just the same, bigger again. Uh, this size getting close to your SSG size. One of them just happened to have a TIP 35C in it, which is what a lot of guys use for the SSG. Very handy. Uh, a lot of medium sized ones and some really big ones. Um, this one here, I printed the sheet out of it on the um, specs. I left it up at the house. But um, that's 800 volts that 10 amps that'll handle. Uh, this bigger one again 1500 volts at 20 amps so well, that's um, definitely good for the big machines. So um, SD we could certainly use that outside of manufacturer specifications and be quite safe. 
So, and of course the copper wire, which I haven't robbed from it yet. Um, there's enough on there to wind uh, one winding, 450 turns on your standard SSG coil for the trigger. You would probably need slightly bigger for the run, it's only about 0.42 mil. So a little bit thin for the run, but ideal for the trigger. So, um, TVs, old TVs are pretty much the same. So there's always plenty of dead computer monitors and um, TVs laying around and got nearly everything you need. Uh, if the only thing you have to go and buy is a variable resistor or a pot, um, you've pretty much well got everything else except for your coil and core and the uh, half the wires in the monitor anyway so save yourselves a lot of money um, just the simply spending an hour like I did pulling all the goodies out pretty much everything you could want um, right from the smallest machine right up to the biggest machine so definitely worth pulling them apart and getting the bits out of save yourself a lot of money um, if you like most of us and keep blowing heaps of these up then uh, yeah, definitely cuts out the expense a bit so just thought I'd share that with any guys or girls um, as you can see we've even got our pink resistors for the girls in there as well so guys and girls that want to uh, give it a whirl that's the place to find most of your bits uh, like I said always plenty of them floating around on the side of the road um, come on over to our forum www.iaec.forumco.com you know, we can help you out get you underway any problems you have along the way just ask some of the guys there they'll be more than happy to help you out and answer any questions you have cheers from the tin man